All right, so this is not a review right here. As you can see, it's gonna be more or less a talking point, um, kind of like in my playlist of Techni Talks. That's kind of where I put videos like this, more or less like a podcast. I just wanna talk about some cool topics. And you know what we should do? Let's do this. What if I pull the mic all the way down here and actually start looking like a professional podcaster? How does that even sound? I'm gonna roll with it because I feel really pro right now, like a pro podcaster. I love this. So anyways, what we're going to talk about today is HP recently acquiring HyperX for $425 million, right? So right there, number one, talking about HP buying HyperX, they didn't buy the company. You know, Kingston owns HyperX, right? So Kingston, they make memory like uh, SSDs, storage and stuff like that, RAM, so that's still, they're still them over there. They just bought, again, the HyperX part of it for $425 million. So sounds like a good deal. They got the peripheral company, but they still got to keep their main company and still got all that bank right there. So uh, the first thing that probably comes to your mind is HP. HP's peripherals are not anything hot right now recently on youtube a lot of you has probably caught these ads for hp their omen like their omen line's decent it's not horrible by any means it's decent right um, but you've probably seen a lot of ads sponsored ads talking about their headsets their pcs and their keyboards and stuff all those are sponsored ads i wouldn't be shocked if they're paid sponsored ads as well you know what i mean so again just kind of take that stuff with a grain of salt when you're seeing a lot of those on youtube but you can tell that HP is trying to crack into this space. Like peripherals are massive. Like everybody and their brother reviews mice these days. You know what I mean? Um, keyboards are so popular. Me personally, I love reviewing headsets the most, you know. But my biggest question would be like, will HP keep what HyperX has going into it? And that's what I want to talk about at this point right here. This is HP. I'm reading this from other sites uh, online right here. HP wants to bolster his company's both, uh, portfolio. Company has been trying to crack the lineup comprised of more established brands like Corsair, Logitech, and Razer. So those are three the three big wigs in the peripheral market, right? Corsair's got a little bit more going on, PC components and stuff, and then peripherals, you know, so they got a little bit more hand in there. Logitech is just gigantic, right? They got so much going on from gaming and then outside of gaming, you know, and Razer is just razor right they're doing everything so you kind of think man where's steel series steel series is a pretty small company still you know what i mean which i kind of might have would have looked at hp kind of picking up a company like that that's what i personally would have thought you know rather than HyperX. i don't know again i'm not too sure how all that works you know but um that's what they're trying to say is hp wants to build their portfolio a little bit more and again dabble with some of the uh peripheral space so that main thing there that's what scares me a little bit, because again, we're seeing my recent review of the HyperX 60, um, HyperX Haste right here. Why I have this headset out, the Alpha S. We all know the clouds. That's a great, solid point for a headset, the clouds, right? Absolutely awesome headset. But what I love about HyperX and what they've done with their headsets, for example, is they had the clouds, they had the flights, the Flight S, they had the Alphas, the Alpha S, Right, they put a bunch of different aspects into that line and create different components off of that. If you catch my drift, will HP do that, or will they be like, "Hey, we got the clouds, let's bank off it." Hey, we got the flight flights, let's bank off it. We don't need a sixty percent. That's just hype, you know. We who cares what the community wants? That's just that's a phase, which I believe too. But it's cool that they still implement it into the market for us gamers or consumers. You know, will HP do that? Right. That's what kind of scares me right here. So, again, they still have Kingston with the SSD and the, uh, you know, all their storage and stuff. Will they branch out and start making their own stuff like Kingston line of headsets and keyboards? I don't know. I don't know if that's something in the contract where it's kind of like, hey, no, if we buy you, you can't dabble with it again. You know what I mean? So, in my honest, and that's what I just wanted to talk to you guys about here, just kind of touching on that, how HP acquired HyperX for $425 million. I mean, high five to HyperX, like, heck yeah, I probably would have sold it too, you know, $425 million, cash out, you know, but um, as a peripheral junkie, a tech junkie, I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this, you love the HyperX products and just peripherals in general, you know, in gaming, are you worried what HyperX will do or, or what HP will do to the HyperX line? 
Will they dumb it down and kind of settle it down and let it be just like this brand name that sells peripherals? Because people buy HyperX. HyperX is popular, right? So the brand name kind of sells itself. Or do you think they'll actually implement it and keep this great innovation going on right here? I'm honestly concerned. Like, are they going to keep the whole team? Or is it just like, we're going to bleed this into HP? If you were with HyperX, now you can go to Kingston. I asked my rep, actually. I said, hey, man, are you going to be part of HP? Like, am I still going to be working with you? Are you Kingston now or are you HP or you just did the whole company just come? I'm really concerned, you know, and talking about that being concerned, another thing that just hit me, hit my mind is like, talk about product reviews, right? HP, they work with so many small YouTubers, streamers. They're really cool about just building that community, right? Like with me, 150,000 subs, like sure, that's a decent amount, but it's not a lot. Talk about the people doing these paid sponsors ads. They all have like millions of subscribers doing the HP sponsored ads. HP with their marketing, they go for those advertisements, those big ones, right? Where are they going to get those sales? Rather than HyperX, they kind of like build a community and just have that, you know, place in the peripheral market right there, which I love how HyperX does that. So with them now being HP, are they still going to like hook a smaller reviewers up with these products to cover them, uh, you know, and drop the reviews and stuff. I don't know. That's probably me just digging in a little paranoia going up here. You know what I mean? And paranoia, whatever. I'll buy the product myself. It's no, no biggie, you know, but it'll be a stinker, but no biggie for sure. Like I'll still buy this stuff myself, but that makes me wonder something like that, but that's minor, like whatever. My biggest concern again, like here's a question for you guys. Say if, HP owned HyperX last year. They bought them last year and this year was coming. Do you think HP would have dabbled with Ducky and released a couple of those 60%? Do you think HP would have still released this 60% keyboard right here? Honest opinion. I just want to ask you, what do you think? You know, I've used plenty of HP products. They're monitors. I love their Omen monitors because they use LG panels, honestly. <laughs> you know, LG panels are fantastic. That's all I use, you know? So... Again, that's all I really want to do. Just real short and sweet right here. I really wanted to have this topic with you guys. Um, I don't stream or anything. So again, this is kind of just more like a, just a little topic right here. Um, please spark the conversation down below. I just, I'm really, that's the only reason I'm making this. I, I want to talk to you guys about it. You guys love peripherals just like me. So let's talk down below. Do you think this is a good move? This is a bad move? Who cares? Let's see what happens. You know, I don't want to see HyperX go away. Me personally, I don't. I want to see this innovation continuously go. And hopefully HP takes... Obviously, all that money, well, they just had to pay, but hopefully they take some of those resources and money and just take it to the next level, which who knows what that will be, which is pretty stinking exciting. So again, we got two. I want to hear what you guys think, though. But uh, anyways, thank you so much for stopping by the uh, Techni podcast or Techni Talks. We're going to call these little type of inserts as Techni Talks right here. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, spark that conversation down in the comments and hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for some future talking tech videos, I guess. I don't know how to end it. Anyways, thank you so much. Catch you in the next one. Bye now.